Okay, uh, I'll just share case five. Uh, this is a case of a 47 year old uh, gentleman who has a history of pre-diabetes followed by the diagnosis of diabetes um, um, following his presentation and uh, uh, as obviously he was admitted to the hospital for the management of the newly diagnosed diabetes. Um, um, so he's um, uh, actually his BMI uh, is near about 20.9. So this is not in the obesity range. And if you look at his um, other history, I mean, he's a chronic smoker, uh, it's a positive family history, but mainly in terms of hypertension, um, pretty um, um, uh, otherwise uh, not, nothing much from the history. Uh, in terms of the investigation, the thing that stood out was his, his LDL cholesterol, about 3.64 millimoles per litre. Uh, the first HbA one c in fact, is 10.5%. So this is at presentation. And as per other cases, I think in this case series, most of them have some degree of arteriosclerosis, both in the lower limbs as well as in the carotid arteries. In terms of this fundus photograph, uh, it looks uh, pretty normal to the naked eyes. So uh, at least at this stage, uh, there's no sign of retinopathy. So if you look at the uh, some of the questions that um, are supposed to be asked, I think it is probably intentional that the urine albumin creatine ratio was left out in the history. And hence the probe uh, is to get a bit of history about whether there's albuminuria uh, at the present state of present, uh, at this stage of presentation. And the second thing, there's no mention of any comorbidities, comorbidity of hyperlipidemia. So again, this was a suggested uh, question to be asked. I think the history is pretty uh, straightforward in terms of type 2 diabetes, uh, hyperlipidemia, and it looks like there's complication of peripheral vascular disease as well as carotid arteriosclerosis. I think the contention comes to the management. I think to the AI as well as the doctors, I think it's very clear that the patients probably need insulin therapy, but the extent of insulin therapy becomes favorable among the different players from a, a simple sort of basal uh, insulin plus one prandial to the full basal or even to the use of insulin pump. So I think that is debatable. I think it's dependent on the local context of how you manage a newly diagnosed diabetes. Um, um, in terms of the follow-up uh, suggestion, you can look at this sort of a second doctor. Uh, it lists down, I think, category, uh, categorically what are supposed to be done. I think this is quite suggestive of uh, uh, probably an AI doctor coming with all this sort of um, 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 suggestion uh, versus I think um, the other two doctors, I think they did pretty well as well. Um, uh, the diagnosis, I think, is never in doubt. So uh, I think the diagnosis is very clear to all. Uh, again, in terms of the treatment I mentioned earlier, so it's just basal insulin here versus a basal bolus regimen. And in terms of the treatment plan, I think this doctor is very, very detailed. I think kudos to what uh, he or she has suggested. So I think this is a very detailed treatment plan. So I guess on the whole, it's not a difficult case, but I think the treatment decision uh, is variable. I think you cannot say who's right or who's wrong. You just probably need to look at the context of how you practice in your country. Yeah, yeah, and so you just give marks according to the real situation and whatever yes. is reasonable. Yeah.